Wack 100 speaks on Nipsey Hussle's music catalog and questions why Black Sam has yet to drop any Nipsey Hussle projects since his untimely demise and says if he waits too long, the music is going to time itself out. He also says Nipsey Hussle did not make timeless music like the late great Tupac Shakur. He speaks on why Black Sam is disgruntled with him, says he doesn't understand. He says he even apologized to Black Sam for the remarks he made about Nipsey Hussle on No Jumper. It's an interesting conversation. I'm going to let y'all get to it. Shout out to Wag 100. Shout out to King Yo and Street Runners. This is Getty Radio. Let's go. And for them to say, all right, they don't like game manager, right? I'm pretty sure in the rap game with any artist, everybody don't get along and everybody got to make a decision to where it's like all right we don't like that but we got to do what's right for our artists you know what i'm saying so for him to do that that's kind of like you know what i'm saying i don't feel it i don't i don't like it. well it wouldn't have been no nipsey as it was today without game period i don't give a fuck. <clears throat> if if Wayne wouldn't have signed drake when he signed drake drake probably wouldn't be the drake he is today he just mm-hmm. probably spent another year or two figuring it out and probably never figured it out nope. and that's when that game when it did what he did on the tour and fake like he was gonna sign him and all that shit to get them labels to get that man a deal. That nothing came of the deal. Just keep it real. He didn't drop out until the second deal. They got so tired of when the first one, they just let it go. You know what I'm saying? I think first one might have been like Sony or some shit, one of them labels. So, you know, and at the end of the day, as you see, they get frustrated because they could get in advance and one year, two year, three year, four year, five year, six year go by and ain't no motherfucking product. Just get stressed out, bro. That's just real shit. So, in the day, uh, business is business. And dude got 80 songs over there he ain't released. And what he don't realize is, no disrespect, everybody ain't Tupac, bro. Everybody ain't got, uh, everybody doesn't record timeless music. You could turn a pox song on today like he just made them yesterday, like he was still here. That's fact. <clears throat> Rappers rap about shit that's going on at that time. So he gonna keep waiting, keep waiting, and the music gonna age out. It ain't gonna sound it ain't gonna it ain't gonna be relevant to that. And that so, you know, I, he need to he need to put that shit out so other people can sample it, other people can remix it, people can use it in the movies. All that I don't know what he waiting. They gotta do it like, and I said that. That's earlier. true. Music evolved. That's like big, like what they did. Big the hair and dropped all that big. Now he got remix albums. He yeah, got that's yeah. People could grab it using the movies and this, this, that. I think he been gone what for three years. Yeah. Three years. 29, 2019. He been gone three years, bro. He had three birthdays, three um, death days. Um, the thing that been keeping the conversation is the murderer. He had been convicted. He just waiting to be sentenced. After he's sentenced, what other conversation you gonna have? It's, it's gonna fizzle out. It's been too long. It's been too long. Yeah, that's why. That's why he gotta let some of these people put music out. Gotta do it. But but long. okay, whack. Is it. it is it people gotta put music out or is blood just mad behind behind you being involved with game? Me? What about the eighty songs you got that y'all own? Why me? He ain't put shit out. He's stopping. He's stopping other records from coming out from other people that's got. He's got eight. Listen, it's about eighty unreleased songs. I heard twelve of them. unreleased Nipsey songs over there. Been sitting over there. Uh, the boys, uh, what's some producer nigga? E's and whatever their name is. They got like twelve of them. All right, well, when you gonna put some music out on? He had three birthdays, three death days, anniversaries. When, when you go, what you doing? That's what I was saying. Hey, why can you why can you tell if any of the songs are like hits? Like they, they really go hard. I mean, they, they Nipsey songs. You know, uh, you know Nipsey always good for one. Uh, he always go good for one, but it's great music. But he gonna this shit gonna age out, bro. You know what I'm saying? You're talking about some 2019 shit. And it's 2027, and the production is, is is sounding a little different now because the shit didn't change and. What he's saying is off. He ain't gonna respect the fact. Oh yeah, he died in 2019. Well, 
The fact that he died in 2019 let us know that this music was done already by 2019. Why the fuck is just hitting in 2028? I don't know when that Nipsey Hussle album is gonna drop, but when it does drop, it doesn't matter when, people are gonna support it. People are gonna stand behind it, stream it, run it. They're gonna support that album regardless. I don't know what's taking so long for them to drop an album. Maybe they have a plan. Maybe it's a label issue. Maybe it's a rights issue. I don't know what's going on with it, but at least it won't be like one of those Biggie albums where it's kind of the same lyrics repeated over and over over different beats, right? So at least it's going to be fresh music and I think people can get behind that when it does drop. But anyway, let me let y'all get back to it. Let's go. Yeah, and the rap game might change as far as in the sound too. All that. That's why he need to let yeah, it go. Music is music is evolving. Mm -hmm. Man, that's crazy. Hey, they just, my phone had died, but um, yeah, that's crazy, man. On top of that, game, if you um, keep like that. game had gave the uh, Nip Kid all the royalties, all the whole song. He gave them ownership of the whole song. See, that's why that makes it even. Yeah, that's crazy. Hey, yeah, wax, so, hey, hey, wax. So niggas, they got songs with Nip before he died. And they push him out. Sam can uh Sam can uh sue you for that. Unless you if you got the clearance paperwork, he can't do nothing. But if you ain't got the work, that's why I tell y'all when y'all do music with niggas, do your paperwork right then. You don't know if a nigga gonna walk out and get his brains blowed out. Do your paperwork right now. All that press and play, and you ain't got your work, and then something happened now. You dealing with this state. Up. So even so even if game so even if game can't like make money like you know they like his family can make money and stuff off it can he just still drop the record if he wants to like just with you know just releasing it without no we can, we can, <clears throat> we can throw it out there but he made it to give it to his kids so it's like you got to remember game got his own personal relationship with this bro he know that Sam wasn't around though bro when all that was going on that nigga wasn't around bro he wasn't even around. You know what I'm saying? Dude don't get talk about number them t-shirts. Yeah, they ain't stopped no clothing coming out though. I've been seeing all his clothes and stuff coming out. Yeah, um, cause that's his hustle, but and then he got his own little record label, but ain't nobody never came out on it, but <laughs> like and then at the end of the day I asked, I said, dude, what I do to you anyway. I ask y'all what I do to it. What I, what I say wrong about your brother? I understand where WAC 100 is coming from here, but I also understand where Black Sam is coming from. WAC 100's perception is, hey man, I didn't say anything wrong about your brother. They asked me a question. I pretty much just told the truth, right? Black Sam's perception is, hey man, you're sullying my brother's name after his death and that's not cool. So you can't ask a person how to perceive what you're saying. If they perceive it as offensive, they're going to be offended and it's really Really nothing you can do about that but let's get back to it Shit, you ain't say nothing wrong for you, <laughs> you i asked you i said everything? yo look i asked you i said hey sam you think game a legend <laughs> like man i fuck with game and his music but I, I don't think i'm a legend i said i'm supposed to get mad at you about your opinion i said i can argue with you and put facts and sales and how many albums how long you've been around right yeah i said okay so you can say that, but in my opinion of that, with one album in seven years versus a nigga 19 years and about 13 albums and 10 mixtapes and world tours and millions and millions of units sold, you get like, I'm confused. So you and Sam now actually talked about like the comment that you made on them or whatever. You can't tell me nothing about what I said wrong? Yeah, right, right. But y'all actually had the conversation. I ain't know that. <laughs> what I say wrong? <laughs> hey. I, in the same sentence, I said, I also think Biggie at the time his demise wasn't a motherfucking legend. He turned into one over, you know, niggas sampling and remixing and movies and turned into one. But at the time his demise, he was dead before the second album dropped. Pac, when he died, definitely. His body of work, he had two, three big movies. He had the first double CD to go quadruple platinum. All this other work, all this other shit, definitely I gave Pac that at the time of demise. But I'm just talking, we're talking in music. I ain't gonna talk about what the nigga did over here with his kids, his neighborhood, how many fights he had, if he can do a backflip, if he was a snitch, if he wasn't a snitch, I don't give a fuck about none of that. That's why I tell, say what you want to say about 6 9 You can't fight them numbers. Call him what you want, we talking music. 
I'm talking. I talk music with him, not streets. Music. Now, Black Sam. Y'all crazy motherfuckers. The one went over there talking some street shit. You seen what happened? Black Sam is definitely selfish for that. That's a bad business move. In the day, it this is a a format that continue keep his voice alive. You know, it was something that can go to the kids, bro. You know what would have happened? You'd have had artists that would start doing shit and donating the month the whole song to the kids. You'd have looked up and the kids would have had their own catalog. Cause as of right now, it's really no catalog over there, bro. Just keep it real. You got an album. And he, Black Sam seemed like his ass don't want to see the bigger picture he saw in his feelings. But this the thing, what is he in his feelings about? He could have made so I'm much like, money off that shit. I'm like, bro, what are you in your feelings about? Like what, Nick, and look, bro, I went as far as it months ago, I went on no jumper when I took Rico there. I apologized and even know what I was apologizing about. And that's crazy. They don't never would have put up them type of clip. They just it's on no jumper. It's, it's right there. I said, but listen, I'm, I don't know what I said or maybe if you misconstrued what I said, but I was having an open conversation about music, right? Nothing personal, but if you took it personal. You or the family or the wife and kids, if y'all took it personal, my apologies. Again, I was speaking on music. And we we are getting here all day. Hey, what you think about this artist? What about this artist? What about Mocha LL? And we give our opinion about what we think. You never heard me say he's, he's a whack rapper. He can't rhyme. His performance is fucked up. You ain't never heard nothing. I actually said, you know what else they don't put out? When I say... He had three folk songs that should have been hits, but you DJs didn't support him. They don't put that out either. I'm going to leave it right here, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this, man. Does WAG 100 have a point? If Black Sam doesn't hurry up and drop some Nipsey Hussle music, the music is going to time itself out and it's not going to be received well. And how did you guys feel about the Marathon album? Do you think that that is timeless music? Do you think that those mixtapes Nipsey dropped before the Marathon is timeless music? Music like Blue Laces and things like that. Do you think that music is timeless or do you think WAG 100 has a point that he doesn't make timeless music like Tupac Shakur. How do you feel about the issue between Black Sam and Wack 100? Black Sam is feeling like Wack 100 sullied his brother's name, I assume, and Wack 100 is saying he doesn't understand why he's upset with him because he apologized on No Jumper podcast and all should be well according to Wack 100. And how do you feel about the earlier part of the video where Wack 100 said that there would be no Nipsey Hustle if it wasn't for the game's contributions? to his career anyway y'all let me know how y'all feel about this man this has been getty radio i appreciate you being here please like comment subscribe i will catch you guys on the flip side peace